for today's video, we're doing Spin the Wheel Exotic Animal Edition. Some animals that I want to add to the preserve here. Throw them on a wheel, we, we spin the wheel, and whatever animal it lands on, we go and get. We're gonna screw it on just like this, and one, two, let's go. And We've got our wheel here, and take a look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to put our wheel right up here just like this. So we're gonna go, we're going to spin in three, two, one. Guys, this is the final run. We're gonna spin it and... What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Jacob and welcome to my world. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video, we're doing Spin the Wheel Exotic Animal Edition. I've done this twice before in these videos and it came out pretty cool. It's actually pretty fun to do. Some animals that I wanna to add to the preserve here. Throw them on a wheel, we, we spin the wheel and whatever animal it lands on, we go and get. We've got a wide variety of animals on the wheel and it's going to be absolutely amazing. Now guys, before we actually do this, well, we've got some red foot tortoises in the incubator that we're just starting to hatch. So before we hop into today's Spin the Wheel Exotic Animal Edition, well guys, we've got to head inside. We've got to go check out the incubator and see if these tortoises have hatched. We're in the office now and we are about to check on some tortoises. I had some baby red foots that were just starting to hatch out about a day and a half ago. So guys, we're gonna check the incubator. Hopefully they're out. We're gonna actually take them out of the incubator if they are, but there is only one way to find out and that is by checking them out. So we are going to do just that. So we're coming right over here to this incubator. Now, this incubator is in a bad spot. We're actually gonna be moving it soon to like the other side because I literally can't even sit at my desk with it. But this is where it is for now, so that's what we're gonna have to do. So we're going to one, two, open it on up, and we are going to undo the latches and open the incubator. So we're just gonna kinda do an eyeball check of all of these. I don't know if you guys can see it right here, but there's a bunch of eggs, all different tortoises. There's all different tortoise eggs in here. They're pretty much all red foot and cherry head eggs. But this was the bin of concern. Let's open it up, guys. Now, before we open it up, Go right now and comment down below if you think the tortoises have hatched yet. I haven't looked yet, but guys, let me know down below. I want to know what you think. I think they've hatched, but guys, let me know down below. So we're going to go right now. We're going to open it on up, and we're going to see right now. We're just going to slide them out, and okay, one, two. <gasps> guys, look at that. They're hatched. They're out. Oh my goodness. This is going to be absolutely incredible to see. Let's pull them out now. For those of you that have been watching the channel for a while, you guys have definitely seen us hatch out little baby tortoises. But for those of you that are new to the channel, you've probably seen me collect the eggs, but you probably have not seen them hatch out in the incubator. So we're gonna open this up right now in one, two, three. Oh my goodness, look at this. Tiny, perfect, little gems of tortoises. Look how adorable these Katinga cherry heads are. So this is not a regular red foot and it's not a regular cherry head. This is a Katinga cherry head, which I'm actually the first person ever to actually hatch Katinga cherry heads out. The first person ever in the United States to do it. So it's actually a pretty cool accomplishment. But if we flip them over on their bellies, you can see these big sacks right here. These are called yolk sacks. So when these tortoises are actually first born, they have this little yolk sack that they've got to absorb. And this yolk sack gives them all of their energy and food for their first about week and a half of life. So these guys are actually not even gonna eat for another week or so. So we've actually checked these two out right here. And then we've got this little guy right here. So let's actually peel this off of him right there. And oh my gosh, look, you can still see that some of the slime and the goo from inside of the egg is still here. Look at that, guys. This is like a glue, slime, sludge. Look at that. Nasty, sticky stuff. And let's smell it. Doesn't smell like anything, guys. That's just a part of the tortoises. This is actually kind of a sticky membrane that is around them while they're in the egg. But look at this guy. Wait, I gotta get this off. Come on. Why isn't it? Come on. Come on. All right, I've got all the sticky stuff off and look at this little guy. This guy is pretty much has a healed yolk sac and look how gorgeous he is. Now, since these little tortoises just hatched and they're pretty much not ready to come out of the incubator yet, I already have a little bin right here to put them in. So this little bin right here has some soft moss, it has some paper towels. 
So we're literally gonna take all of these little tortoises right here, and we're gonna put them inside of here. So we've got these three inside of this bin. We're gonna close it on shut just like this. We're gonna slide it up on in just right there. We've got all of the eggshells out, so we're just going to close this bin on up. We are going to slide it on in just like that. We have slid the bin in, and only thing left to do is we've gotta close the incubator one and two. And now that we checked the incubator, we got those little baby tortoises out. Well, guys, we are finally going to hop into today's video. We've gotta go outside. We are doing Spin the Wheel Exotic Animal Challenge. If you guys wanna see what we get, what we land on, well, I don't even know what we're gonna land on yet because we haven't done it yet. So guys, we're gonna go head outside and we're gonna spin that wheel. Take a look at our wheel. The wheel is done. Look at this, it's absolutely amazing. We've got all of our animals on there. The wheel is pretty much ready to go. We've got our five animals on the wheel to choose from. So now that the wheel is done, well, we have got to actually install our screw to actually spin the wheel on because we don't actually have a place to spin it. So we're going to do it right over here. We are going to do it right here. We're going to screw it on just like this. And one, two, let's go. And come on. All right, there we go. Actually, we got to back it out just a little bit. A little bit more and one, two. All right, guys, that seems to be absolutely perfect. Let's get our wheel right now and spin this wheel. We've got our wheel here and take a look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely huge and let's hang it up right here. So we're going to put our wheel right up here just like this right on and look at that. We have our wheel. Now we actually don't have an arrow up top. So basically what we're going to do is whichever, whichever lands closest to this top post right here, that's the animal that wins. The wheel is hung up and the wheel is in place. So guys, we're gonna spin the wheel. We're gonna do two different test runs. We're gonna do two test spins and then we're going to do a third and final one. And whatever it lands on on the third try, well guys, that is the animal we're gonna get. So guys, without further ado, we're gonna do our first test run right now in three, two, one. Let's see. All right, zebra, it landed on the zebra for the first run. I mean, a zebra would be cool. I think a zebra would be awesome, guys. What do you think down below, man? It's getting me a little excited. Already landing on the zebra, guys. And we're gonna have our second test run in one, two, three. Let's see. Toucan, all right. Well, this would be an amazing animal to add to the preserve. But guys, this was only part of the test run. We have not had our third and final spin. And this third and final spin is going to determine which animal we get. So guys, stop what you're doing and tell me what you think we're gonna land on because we're about to do this literally right now. So we're gonna go, we're going to spin in three, two, one. Guys, this is the final run. We're gonna spin it and... One minute, 37 seconds later. And... Okay guys, it landed on, which one do you think it did? It landed here. Now we're going based off of the center post. We don't technically have an arrow, so guys, if we're going off this center post right here, which means, guys, we are going to get a ginormous Aldabra tortoise, guys. We're gonna be buying the world's largest tortoise, and good thing is, I know a guy. I know a guy that has some of these locally, so guys, that is what we're gonna do. We gotta pull the phone out right now. We're going to give a phone call to my Uncle Mike. That's what I call him, Uncle Mike. We're gonna give a phone call right now to Uncle Mike right here. We've got Uncle Mike right there. We're gonna click on Uncle Mike and we're gonna give him a call and we're gonna go pick up our giant tortoise. All right, so you got that one put aside. We're good to go. Okay, awesome, bro. I'm gonna leave here in a few. Guys, I just got off the phone with my Uncle Mike and Uncle Mike has an Aldabra tortoise for us. Now, guys, these tortoises are pretty much the world's largest tortoises next to the Galapagos. You can see that this tortoise right here is absolutely huge. This tortoise right here is probably 350 pounds, guys. They start out this big, and one day they'll be up to 500 pounds. But guys, I am not going to tell you what size tortoise we are getting, guys. What do you think? How big do you think the one we're getting? We could be getting a hatchling, and we could be getting one all the way up to 500 pounds. Guys, let me know down below what size Aldabra tortoise you think we're going to get. Now, guys, I'm going to need my truck to go get this tortoise. So if that gives you any sort of a hint, guys. So now that we played spin the wheel, we landed on the Aldabra. I gave my unofficial Uncle Mike a call. Well, guys, we're going to go hop in the truck and we're going to pick up our new tortoise. One hour later. Guys, we're here. We've got the tortoise. Ugh. Guys, we got the big tortoise right here. Look at this adorable, tiny Aldabra hatchling. So guys, you probably thought we were getting a big one, but we actually got a tiny hatchling. 
Now this is one of only a couple of Aldabras that have been captively born here in the United States. All the other ones were imported, but now people have had them here in captivity for a while, and the need for importing them is no longer there because people are now captively hatching them. Guys, look how tiny this little guy is. In one day, this little tortoise right here will be up to 550 pounds when he is full grown. It's absolutely amazing to have these giant earth guardians here at the preserve, and guys, I cannot wait to set him up. So I'm gonna hop off right now. We're just gonna hop on down, and we've already got our tub ready to go for our little tiny Aldabra tortoise. Now for probably the next about eight to 10 months he's gonna be inside, I'll probably start putting him outside once he gets about yay big. Now we're not entirely sure whether this is gonna be a boy or a girl. We need a name for him. This guy's gonna be here for a very long time. It's gonna take him about 30 years to get full grown and he can live up to 150 years. So guys, go comment down below a little name for this little guy. So now that we have this little guy right here, we're just going to set him up right here, right now. He's doing well and we're gonna take this big old bin to the reptile room and set him up. Guys, we're here in the reptile room and we have our little giant right here. He's little, but he's gonna be a giant one day. And we've got a perfect spot for him right up here on my rack. We're just gonna slide it on up there and this little giant is here. Let's bring him right here. So now that we have him here, we're not done yet. We gotta give him a couple things. We gotta give him some housewarming gifts. The first housewarming gift we're gonna give him is a cuddle bone. They'll chew on this and this is a good source of calcium to make sure they grow strong bones and strong hard shells. So we're just gonna put that little cuddle bone in there for him. And of course we have to add water. Every living thing needs water in order to survive. So for the tortoises, I really like to use just the little chick water feeders because they're easy to clean. They hold a lot of water and they don't evaporate really easily. So we're just gonna flip that on over. We're gonna put that right there. Hey, where are you going, buddy? We're gonna put that right there. The tortoise can have access to the water very easily and it's not deep. So he can't fall in it, he can't drown. And last but not least, we have got to feed the little tortoise. So I got a mix here of different greens. We got collard greens, we've got romaine lettuce, and we've got kale, which is a nice healthy blend for tortoises. So we're just gonna take a little handful of this stuff right here. Let's see, let's mix it on up just a little bit. And we're gonna take a nice little handful of the greens. We wanna make sure we have like an assortment of everything. And we're just gonna put some of the greens right here, right off to the side, just like that. I don't think that guy is going to eat in front of us. Maybe he's a little bit shy. But anyways, that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's exotic animal spin the wheel mystery challenge. Guys, I had an absolute blast with today's video. So if you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to go right now and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below a name for this little tortoise right here. We don't have a name for him yet. We need one. So make sure to go comment down that right now. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, you want to see this tortoise grow up. You want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. Well, guys, what are you waiting for? Go right Right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell and you all will be notified whenever I post.